So we're going through Holy Week. This is now Thursday, Maudy Thursday, the Passover, the Last Supper. So Maudy actually means command. And it says in John 13, 34 to 35, A new command I give you, love one another, as I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. So Jesus invited the 12 disciples to an upper room in Jerusalem for a Passover meal. While they were having their meal, Jesus got down on his hands and knees and he washed the disciples' feet. He washed Peter's feet, knowing that he'd be the one that denied him. He washed Judas' feet, knowing that he'd be the one later on to, to betray him. But Jesus washed the disciples' feet as an act of humility, as an act of servanthood, as an act of love. After the meal, Jesus stood up and said that his body would be broken, that his blood would be shed for a sacrifice for once and for all for our sins. It says in Luke 22 verses 19 to 20, As he took the bread, he gave thanks and broke it. He gave it to them saying, This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. So this was the last supper, which was actually the first communion. He says, do this in remembrance of me. There's such power in communion. So after the, the meal, Jesus went to the Garden of Gethsemane, where he prayed to his father. He said, Father, is there another way? Father, take this cup from me. He then said, not my will be done, but your will be done, Father. He was in such anguish of what lies, lies ahead, that he actually sweated drops of blood. Those drops of blood would then be that blood that would just um, see our sins be forgiven and reconcile us to God. <laughs> How amazing is that? He then waited in the garden knowing that he'd be arrested. So will you take a moment now, have a one-on-one -on -one with Jesus? Will you let him wash your feet? As we walk through this life, things get attached to us. The things we think, the things that might be spoken against us. Will you let Jesus wash them clean? Will you take a moment to reflect and to say sorry for the things that you've done wrong? To repent from your sins, the things we've thought, the things we've watched, the things that displease Jesus and God. And then will you remember? Remember what Jesus has done for you on that cross, that his body was broken for you, so you would be made whole, that his blood was shed for you for the forgiveness of all your sins. Wow, isn't that amazing? Jesus died so you might live. We have an opportunity to take communion together tomorrow, Good Friday, at 5 p.m. It'd be so good to see you there as we take communion together. There's a group of Essex.